Welcome back to The Wasteland, my friends. In today's video, I'm gonna be going over five tips for beginners. Now, these tips, um, they could be used for everyone, but they're specifically uh, pointed at beginners, because I, I, I doubt most of you that have played this game a long time aren't gonna know these. Um, let's just get in right to the tip one, and that is going to be how to rename your dweller. So as you can see, this person's name is Amber Knight, and if I just click their name, Boom, I can change their name right there. That's how you change a dweller's name. If you're on PlayStation or Xbox, you're going to click, um, I think it's the right stick of your remote. If it's not the right stick, it's the left stick, but I'm pretty sure it's the right stick. I tested it last night, and then um, when I was done testing it, I went to write it down, and I completely forgot, because I'm kind of an idiot. So that's, uh, it's one of the sticks if you're on console. If not, just tap the name. Tip number two is going to be guns like the 32 pistol, not this one specifically, but the basic 32 pistol. It's kind of useless. It does like one to two damage, and if it's a rusty one, it'll do like one damage, I believe. I'm gonna see if I can find it specifically. Okay, rusty 32 pistol. It's absolutely useless, one damage. The least dependable handgun in the wasteland. Good luck, exactly. Just sell it, you don't need it. Um, I don't care if you, if you have fists. I'd use fists over this pistol. I would just sell this pistol. The only reason I would ever use this pistol is if I wanted my character to look cool while being trash at the same time. So yeah, just sell it, scrap it, whatever you have to do to get rid of it if you're um, just now starting out and this is one of your guns that you have. Same with the BB gun. The BB gun's even more um, unreliable. This one, zero to two damage, so it could be doing two damage. I would still get rid of it because it's still got the chance of doing no damage whatsoever. Sell it, scrap it. Same with the BB gun, this rusty BB gun. Same with this one. I wouldn't trust it just because there's a chance it does zero damage. Any of the BB guns, I, I would just never use. So, yeah, just get rid of them, sell them, whatever you guys got to need to do to get rid of them. Tip number three is going to be no need to uh, upgrade your vault door. I've seen many people say this, and I've noticed it myself. Upgrading the vault door doesn't mean really anything besides that the bad guys are going to take a little longer to get in, which is almost useless because... The only reason you need it to be slowed down is so you can prepare for an attack. But if you just have a good setup like I do, you can just um, wait for it. So if you're beginning, I wouldn't really recommend upgrading the door. It's going to get broken no matter what you do and no matter what enemy it is. So just think about that before you upgrade it. It's honestly useless to upgrade it. Tip number four is going to be... This is not really a tip per se. It's more of a, a thing you should know. It is. It is kind of a tip though. So water will actually heal your um, character's radiation poisoning over time. So the more water resources you have, and as long as your water is like ample amount like mine is, you'll be fine and you will get rid of any radiation your character has slowly over time as long as they're in the vault. Now if it's underneath, it's gonna be, you're going to get radiation poisoning. Um, food is health, so same thing. If your character needs health, they'll slowly gain health over time to heal themselves. You'll see this person will probably heal. We'll just I'll just keep them clicked on for the remainder of um, this tip. And then, so health, if they if you're out of health, then you're going to start losing health on your, or no, if you're out of food, you're going to start losing health on your dwellers. And then um, power is, well, power is kind of obvious, but your rooms will be powered with power. So if you don't have power, your rooms aren't, aren't going to be powered, and then you, you're, none of, you won't get anything from them. You can't use them. Training rooms, you can't use them. Building rooms, resource rooms. You can't use rooms that aren't powered. It's kind of a pain in the ass if you have low power. Except for power rooms are the only things that actually can still run without power because they're producing power. Um, and then tip number five is going to be don't do quests without stim packs. Now you need to have stim packs every time you do a quest. Even if you're just now beginning... I'd recommend taking at least one stim pack because if you don't, you're probably gonna die. If you um, if you just go there and you just swing and you're like, maybe I'll find some stim packs. The chances of you actually completing that are gonna be very low. I'd highly recommend taking a stim pack anytime you do a quest. That's what I do. It's um, it's definitely necessary. Also, um, I'll just throw this as a bonus tip. Always have at least probably three people with you on a quest if you're not gonna be paying attention like I do. Because I wasn't paying attention and this person died. I was, having, I was having a conversation with my sister. And then I looked and I was like, crap, I freaking died. Because I was just being a goofball and not paying attention. But yeah, those are the 
Those are the five tips for beginners. I hope you guys like this video. Um, thank you so much for sticking around to the end. And I hope the wasteland treats you guys with peace and prosperity.